in this uh, video, we'll discuss the significance of meiosis. What are the important things where meiosis plays the most important or the important role? The first thing is that meiosis helps in haploid gamete formation which are essential for sexual reproduction. So first importance is gamete formation and because these gametes are haploid that is how every species is able to attain its species specific chromosome number. So gamete formation and the gametes are haploid and so help in sexual reproduction. In the same continuation because of this uh, process each species is able to maintain its chromosome number. So second significance would be helps in Maintaining species specific chromosome number. Now what exactly we mean by this? We mean that every species has a fixed number of chromosomes. We are not talking about the exceptions. Like human beings, the number of chromosome is 46 or 23 pairs. Now, how is this 23 pairs or 46 number of chromosomes is maintained? So, the egg brings 23 chromosomes and the sperm also brings 23 chromosomes. When they fuse during sexual reproduction, that is fertilization, a zygote is formed and the zygote has 23 and 23, that is 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes and these are the pairs which we call the homologous pairs. So human beings have 46 chromosomes in all the cells because this zygote undergoes mitotic divisions to form all the cells of our body and we know mitotic division is equational division. So if this divides into two daughter cells they are also going to have 46 chromosomes. So meiosis helps in formation of gametes which are haploid. These haploid gametes fuse to form a diploid zygote. Zygote undergoes mitotic division and that is how all the cells of our body are diploid. And this is our species specific chromosome number. In case of human beings, 46. Now another significant role or significance of meiosis is seen in case of organisms which show haplontic life cycle. Uh, for example, Chlamydomonas, Haplo they are haploid. They normally reproduce asexually by mitotic division. But whenever they have to undergo sexual reproduction, two Chlamydomonas which are haploid, they are going to fuse to form a diploid zygote and this zygote undergoes meiosis to produce haploid cells which are going to live as haploid chlamydomonas. So helps in zygotic meiosis which results in formation of haploid organisms. For example, chlamydomonas. So this is another role which, is, uh, which can be considered as the important role of meiosis. Now comes another very significant role. When meiosis takes place, there is crossing over, exchange of genetic material. And this exchange of genetic material is very important to bring about variations. So, helps in exchange of genetic material. We can combine all these functions together or we can also write them separately. So helps in uh, bringing about genetic variation or helps in exchange of genetic material. 
during crossing over. Now, how do these uh, exchange help? These exchanges result in variation. So, genetic exchange results in variations. That means in a population we see certain differences which are known as variations. For example, amongst human beings we see different uh, height, different eye colors, different hair texture. So these are variations among the same population and it is the same thing which is seen in a family also. If there are two, three children in a family, these kids, these siblings also differ from each other, though they are coming from the same parents. So, there is some kind of differences which are taking place due to different exchange of genetic material. Where exactly crossing over takes place? If it just takes place at the tip, only these many genes get exchanged. If it is taking place at two places, then more uh, genetic material gets exchanged. So there would be variations and that's how the children are different from their parents as well as the siblings also differ from each other. What is the role of this variation? Variation is very essential for evolution. Variations are essential for evolution. So, these are all important things which can be considered as the significant points of uh, meiosis. We can also add here that spore formation because in the beginning we talked about three types of meiotic divisions. Gametic meiosis which is seen in case of higher organisms like human beings where gametes are formed as a result of meiosis. Second one was zygotic meiosis which is seen in case of haploid organisms like chlamydomonas as well as in certain organisms where the spore formation also takes place with the help of meiosis. So, helps in spore formation and spore formation would result in a reproduction in organisms by spore, sorry, S-P-O, sporic meiosis. So, three types of meiosis playing important roles and the most important thing is gamete formation with exchange of genetic material which cause variations among the population and these variations help in evolution. So, meiosis is a very very important division when it comes to sexual reproduction apart from certain organisms where it also participates in asexual process.